In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria divide two digit whole numbers by single digit whole numbers and express remainders. You can locate the questions on the massmass.com website under entry 2. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here's the first one At work, Liv puts apple pies into boxes. Liv has 4 to 2 apple pies. Each full box has nine apple pies. How many full boxes of apple pies does Liv have? Show how many apple pies are left over. So she's got four to two apple pies in total and she will split them into full boxes. So we're looking at how many nines fit into four to two. 42 divided by 9. If you know your times tables, you'll know that 9 times 4 is equal to 36. But if you don't know your times tables, you can start with 9. So 9 add 9 gives us 18. So we've got two lots of 9. That gives us 18. If we add another lot of 9, that is 27. Another lot of 9 gives us 36. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 lots of 9 that give us 36. If we add one more, that will be 45. And this is only 42. So we can't really add this 9 here. We've got to stop at 36. How many more to get to 42 from 36? So 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So we've added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's four of the boxes, full boxes, four full boxes, and we've got six, six apple pies left over. So four full boxes, six apple pies left over. Lucy fits shelves in the shop. She needs four brackets to fit each shelf. Lucy has 58 brackets. How many shelves can Lucy fit? Show how many brackets are left over. So we're dividing 58 by 4. So how many 4s fit into 58 is the question. Again, if you know your times tables, it can help a lot. If you don't, don't worry, you can still do it. It's just going to take you longer. So if we start with 4, then we go to 8, 12, so adding 4 each time. Then we go to 16, 20. The aim is to get as close as possible to 58, but not surpass that, not go over 58. So 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56. So if we add another 4, that's going to go to 60, and we don't want that because it's going to be more than 58. So we're going to stop at 56. So how many lots of 4 was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 shelves. And how many brackets are left over? So to get from 56 to 58, we add in 2. So that's 2 brackets left over. Work out 94 divided by 4. I'll now try and use the bus stop method. 
So we're dividing 94 by 4. How many 4s fit into 9? That's two of them. 4 and 4 makes 8. So two lots of 4. And we have one remaining. Because 9 take away 8 gives us 1. Now how many 4s into 14? So 4 and 4 is 8. And another 4 that is 12. So that's three lots of 4. That make 12. Now we've got 14 here, so that means it's 2 remaining. So we're going to write here 23, remainder 2. What is 90 divided by 4? 90 divided by 4. How many 4s into 9? That is 2 of them because 2 times 4 is 8, and we have 1 remaining. So how many 4s now into 10? That's 2 again, because 2 times 4 is 8, and we have 2 remaining, because 10 take away 8 gives us 2. So 22, remainder 2 is the answer. What is 64 divided by 8? How many 8s fit into 6? None of them, so we're going to look at 64. How many 8s fit into 64? Now, if you know your times tables, you'll know straight away that 8 times 8 is equal to 64. But if you don't, you can start by counting. So, 8 and 8, that is 16. So, we have two lots of 8, that makes 16. We've got to keep going. So, we can do 16, add 8, that is 24. Add 8 gives us 32, add 8 gives us 40, add 8 gives us 48, add 8 gives us 56, add 8 gives us 64. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lots of 8 gives us 64. So 64 divided by 8 is equal to 8. Divide 86 by 3 and show the remainder. Show your workings. So 86 divided by 3. How many 3s fit into 8? That is 2, because 2 lots of 3 is 6. So 8 take away 6 gives us 2. How many 3s now into 26? That is 8, because 8 times 3, or 3 times 8, that is 24. And that gives us remaining 2. Because 26 take away 24 leaves us with 2. So 28 remainder 2. And we can write it here as the final answer. We now move into the Calculator questions. 22 children want to take part in story time. Sam will have five children in each group. How many groups of five children can she make? So we're doing 22 divided by 5. 22 divided by 5 gives us 4.4. So that tells us it's four groups. How many children will be left over? So if it's four groups with five children in each group, so four times five, that is 20. That 22 children all together, so 22 take away 20 gives us 2. 2 children are left over. Dave has 37 meters of fencing. He cuts the fencing into as many 8 meter lengths as he can. 
How many 8 meter lengths does he got? So we're doing 37 divided by 8. And that gives us 4.625. That's four lengths. How many meters of fencing will Dave have left over? So four lengths at eight meters each of them. So four times eight gives us 32. He has 37 meters of fencing, so we're going to do 37 take away 32 gives us 5. Jay plants the 36 lettuce seeds in pots. He uses 9 pots. Jay plants an equal number of seeds in each pot. How many seeds does he plant in each pot? So it's 36 divided by 9, which gives us 4. So we're going to say 4 seeds. A shop sells photo paper in packs. Each pack has 6 sheets in it. John is going to print 42 photos. How many packs of photo paper does he need? So we're doing 42 divided by 6. Which is 7. So we're going to say 7 packs. Lee has 54 flowers and 9 pots. He puts the flowers in the pots. He puts the same number of flowers in each pot. How many flowers will be in each pot? So 54 divided by 9. Which is 6. So we're going to say 6 flowers. A woman has a sick cat. She asked the vet for some tablets. The vet says the cat must have three of these tablets each day. Healthy cat, 70 tablets. For how many days can the cat take the tablets? How many tablets will be left over? So we're going to do 70 divided by 3. which gives us 23.3. So it's 23 days. That's the number before the decimal point. That's the whole number. And then tablets left over, we're going to work them out. It's not this three here. We've got to work it out. So it says 23 days, so we're going to do 23 times 3, which is 69. So 70, take away 69, gives us 1. So 1 tablet left over. The woman wants to know how much she needs to pay. The vet's fees are £45. The tablets cost £28. The vet nurse works out the total cost. What amount is this? Give units with your answer. Show you're working out. So we're working out the total cost for vet fees. The fees for going to the vet, the doctor, and then the tablets. So we've got 45 add 28, which is 73. 73 pounds. because we've got pounds for both of these. And this is the end of the questions.